Good afternoon, Japan. Good afternoon, rest of the world. My name is Kaz. I'm a Japanese entrepreneur who recently moved to Singapore at the end of 2021. I have just came back to Singapore after the 19-day trip to Germany and Japan. And today, I'm going to talk about my entire trip. If you are interested in today's video, let's get started. Okay, so I'm finally back to my office. It was always nice to come back to my own office because you know I have bigger screen, so it's easier to do the job uh, rather than the notebook. From August 30th, I, I went to Germany for about six days to join the IFA exhibition, so it was very good. I realized that you know in Germany or in Europe particularly there's no more COVID-19 so that all the trade show has been conducted um, without any restriction now so we can start to travel a lot to join the exhibition which is great. IFA itself you know there are a lot of uh, companies from overseas have been participated so that I, there are a lot of uh, companies from Korea, China and US and you know Europe so that you know I met, we met a lot of companies so right now I'm kind of busy right now to do the follow-up meeting with them so yeah it's things are doing very good and then uh, I went to Japan after that um, you know Japan was also very nice uh, the weather was very uh, mild and it's still hot so um, you know I don't have to wear a jacket it's still very warm so I really enjoy the weather down there that is typhoon season but uh, I was actually there for about 11 days and the temperature and the weather was extremely nice while there right before I came back the typhoon went, went, went through Japan and then one day after I left back to Singapore there was a typhoon 14 so you know I was kind of there in Japan for between the typhoon so that was kind of lucky you know the yen has been depreciated quite a bit uh, in the last six months so that you know I felt because uh, in Singapore the you know inflation is pretty steep so that you know a lot of stuff are very expensive here in Singapore so I feel you know the price has not been really increased a lot for example in like 7-Eleven or supermarket or restaurant uh, I think the things are still uh, keeping the same price so that which is very good anyway yeah so you know i met a lot of clients uh, some of them are kind of confused about the steep yen depreciation because it's affected to, to import business and export business so but um, you just have to uh, adjust to the business models towards the exchange rate uh, i can see that yen depreciation is not gonna be end anytime soon so uh, we have to kind of look at that into the consideration for your long term business you know a lot of unprecedented things has been happening in the last few years starting from COVID-19 Russia and uh, Ukraine war and then now the yen depreciation there are a lot of new things that are happening so that you know it's very hard to adapt to new change but uh, it's just way it is so that you know uh, I also have to adjust my business models towards to these new changes so yeah so every overall my entry trip was very fruitful I have learned a lot of new things I met my clients so now I'm back to my office in Singapore so I gotta keep working hard anyway uh, that'll be for today's video if you enjoyed today's video please thumbs up and I hope you subscribe my channel please click the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Please follow my Twitter because I'm talking about the life in Singapore and thank you so much for supporting my channel and I hope I see you guys tomorrow. Bye.